Hello, my name is Gary Britland, and today I'm at Church Kirk Canal, Leeds and Liverpool Canal. And behind me is the Hargreaves Warehouse. Um, this is in between Burnley and Blackburn. Blackburn's that way, and Burnley's that way. It was built in two stages. Uh, it was built from the village of Henfield, but it's now called Enfield. No, no longer really exists now. The village is Altham and Clayton. Uh, they've taken up the boundaries. And uh, Henfield to Blackburn, and then the other stage was Henfield to Burnley. And it was built in 1810, this stretch of the canal. And behind me, the warehouse, Hargreaves and Dugdale uh, warehouse, was built in 1836 for the Broad Oak Print Works, which is in Accrington. It was a major print works in Accrington. Did a lot of printing, calico printing and dyeing. And uh, just behind me, uh, this was a, a hive of industry, the Canal Wharf. There would have been barges full of cotton, which was stored in the warehouse behind. And they were transporting up and down the canal. And uh, just to the this side, the right of me, was uh, the Navigation Inn pub, which they would have frequented the workers. They would have loaded up the barges full of cotton and wool and had a nice pint after. Uh, probably one of the dark ales, the porter beers, which I like myself. Uh, but this site, uh, it's a bit of a, a mess at the moment. It's all looking a bit lost and dishevelled. Uh, but this warehouse has stood here since 1836. Um, and the, Thomas Argreaves had brought up works with his friend Adam Dugdale. And uh, both of them had a company. And uh, at first, Broad Oak Works, Print Works, was owned by Taylor and Fort and Bury in 1792. Uh, and then James Bury left in 1794. And then Hargreaves and Adam Dugdale, Th Thomas Hargreaves and Adam Dugdale, then took over in about 1830s, a bit, little bit earlier, and they carried on at Broad Oak Print Works. Uh, producing a lot of calico printing and dyeing. Uh, so all the cloth would have been stored in this warehouse behind me and transported, as well as on the canal, the road, because the main road, Blackburn Road, is just through the arch, so they could transport it by a lorry also. Uh, but not just cotton and wool, uh, all down this side still exists a lot of mills which are uh, now it's office supplies and uh, a mechanics garage but a lot of the mills still stand now today but this mill behind me is looking a bit worse for wear now uh, i think it at least at least needs a new roof on it uh, it looks like it's going to fall down uh, but this site this whole area going into Bur burnley that way uh, is a was uh, a massive hive of industry and still is partly it's still quite a busy area and just over this side is bridge street uh, w which is in church uh, and still has a massive factory william blinds uh, and then further on down this side is ozzel twistle uh, which uh, it's a nice walk for people walking which they do now they walk the dogs and and the children the families walk along this side of the canal uh, some barges still come along the canal now, uh, but not. it's not half as busy as it was in the 1800s, 1900s. Uh, it would have been full of chemicals being transported up and down and cloth. Uh, it would have been a real hive of industry. Uh, so this is quite an in industrial, historic place of this area. Uh, but I'm surely it's something could be done more uh, than what it is now. Uh, so carry on with some more videos. Thank you.